welcome back queens it is me celestina your favorite albino queen and so very happy new year i know it's like february but i'm still gonna say happy new year because i haven't recorded i haven't seen y'all i haven't been you know y'all probably think i've vanished but honestly i had to get those last two videos out those were not filmed in 2020 so this is the first video i'm filming and um i kind of like redid that look that i had on my the night of my birthday i kind of tweaked it a little bit but because i didn't want it to be the exact same but i was inspired by my own look <laughs> so um yeah y'all i really hope y'all enjoy this year make this year your own make it the year you walk in your purpose make it the year that really changed your life like it's a race against time and honestly all the time needs to be focused on you so you know what to do and what you want and want to attract you know get in tune with your inner self your higher being you feel me and i'll tell you everything is going to be clear clear as day to you so i hope y'all uh really enjoyed this video i hope y'all enjoyed this chit chat talk through kind of thing i'm really excited for my new footage this year like i already like my new setup see celestina um, I really do like it. Yeah, I really do. So, without further ado, let's get into the video and remember to embrace, showcase, and beat your face. What do you do, queens? I'm back with a video. Um, I was actually up at 7.30 this morning, ready to film, and then all of a sudden the power wanna go out. So, now I'm kinda stuck, like it's 1 o'clock. I really wanted to have this recorded before the evening so I can edit tonight but it looks like I'm gonna be recording way longer than I thought so I'm just taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in the shade Arburn excuse me and I'm going to be outlining my brows now since this is like a talk through um i'm trying to like figure out how i want to do my content basically like i know i want to have those videos where i don't talk where it is a voiceover i want to have those videos where we're chatting i want to have you know those videos where it's just like therapeutic like no me i mean i'm not talking like it's just music playing you know i just want to have a different variety of content i don't want the same thing I really just be sitting here chilling and doing my makeup for real. So it looks like I'm zoning my brows or whatever. Um, <clears throat> I'm honestly redoing the look that I did for my 20th birthday. I'm turning 21 this year, baby. And let me tell you, I'm gonna be using two palettes today. We're gonna be using the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette along with the Box of Crayons Palette. I came up with a new method to do my eyeshadow. This is not gonna be a cut crease. Um, I told myself in 2020 I wanted to do more different looks, just not cut crease, because just like I feel like that's what everybody in the game started to do. It was just like had to get down cut crease, cut crease, cut, cut crease. And people was really feeling them, but it's like, you know, I'll, 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 I'll come up with some more ideas, you know? So I'm pretty sure my method is not new. Cause I've actually seen like people do it. It's just like the way I do it on my eyes. I really, really enjoy it. And I really like how it just looks. Mm. I'm gonna take the ColourPop concealer. You see how white this stuff is? It looks really white. I do use it. It's still a concealer. I do use it up under my eyes, but not too much. Just enough to get it, you know, brighten and highlight it. And honestly, I feel like I want to learn something new like I feel like I got that down pat like I want to learn something new like challenge myself you know do more glitter do more liner even draw a little bit on my you know eyeshadow on my eyelids I want to do way more this year way more looks like I know I can do it like I have like visions in my head it's just like you don't want to go through that learning process because you know you have trial and error and it's just like you got to do it so many times and you want to stick to what you know but you know you can't do that because you got to step out your comfort zone and grow 
whatever base you're using, make sure your uh, eyelids are not creased before you put the eyeshadow on because if it is, it's gonna get in the crease where it's creasing at and it's gonna be blotchy and no. So I actually like this concealer because it dries down really, really nice. But even when it dries down, I still have to like kind of pat it out a little bit. Taking that shade navy. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put that, pack that like in the inner corner right here. And once I pack it all in, I just start to blend it a little bit around those edges. So you see how I'm not bringing the eyeshadow all the way in, even though it looks like it. <clears throat> I'm just not going like all the way in here. I kind of went over a little bit too much, but I take this tan shade and I'm going to go right above that shade. Kind of like, you know, lightly fluffing it in. And these blender brushes that I'm using are from BH Cosmetics. It came in like this set of blender brushes. I got like maybe like three or four blender brushes in there. And honestly, they're really, they're really, really good. Like they work really nicely. Ever since, ever since I started using these brushes, my makeup looks have come out really nice. Taking this yellow shade. It's always that one eye that you want to, you know, not come out correctly. Always, you always gotta do way more surgery to one eye than the other, man. Going back in with that purple shade, I'm just gonna be putting a little bit more of my crease to kind of give yeah, this look a little more depth, you know? Sorry if my angle is off, I don't know. I'm trying to like come up with a new angle to film. So, I'm going through try and error right now. So I'm taking my, my ColourPop concealer again, and I'm gonna be taking it on that buffer brush. We're going to blur out my lid. Instead of doing a cut crease, you just blur out the lid and blur out the top too, honestly. Blur all that out up under the brow. That's why I kept like stressing not to go in too far with the eyeshadow, but honey, I got to talk and I went in a little too far. It's like a white little shade, it's not new. Because the vanilla shade in that uh, Smashbox palette is too dull for me. I need something that's gonna show up. And this is just like another way that you can do your eyeshadow and not have to, you know, worry about cutting the crease. Like, I feel like this is a very simple method. Um, you still gotta put a lot of work into it, <laughs> but if that's with any eye look, cause you gotta make sure everything is blended. Yeah. All right, ooh, it's a little hot, it's a little hot. So I've already put on mascara. Um, I'm about to use my dual glue. To put on my lashes i upgraded to the brush on honey um if you still using the blue pack or the red pack or whatever let me tell you this is a, definitely a put on i've seen a lot of people use this and i don't know i just never like when i grabbed it i was just like okay you know my duo works just fine but the brush on is really clutch it dries quickly, it stays on longer, it sticks better. Huh. Why don't I didn't put me on to these, like for, for real. I really love it. And it's so easy to put the glue on because it's, it's a brush on, you know? And these lashes came from AliExpress. I'll have the link to them in my description. I was gonna do a little liner, but um, my inner corner be trying to trip out and it makes me so upset. So I'm not even gonna do eyeliner because you're not gonna mess up my look. It's always this eye that messes up in the inner corner. It just, it tears up for I don't know what reason. 
it goes on blue and it dries clear. I think it's like the finest thing ever. I'm definitely gonna have to put something in my inner corner for sure. Cause it's so, the look is so plain. And I need my tweezers. <sighs> Child, my tweezers are way up there. Do I even want them though? Cause the glue, it sticks so good. I feel like my lash looks crazy over here. Um, I don't, yeah, I'm about to reapply this one. Crazy shit. Dang. He gonna have to reapply, reapply my lash. That'd be the worst. Yeah, I like that way better now. You flying with the wind, you flying with the wind, period. Can't see my head is because my lash is too big. Give me your Draco because I can't shoot with a seed. I go to clear the old footage <laughs> off the memory card. And I wind up hitting the button to delete my last footage of me putting on my moisturizer and foundation. <laughs> and I, mean, I just did that, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm really in shock right now. I ain't worried about it. I just need to learn how to get time. Like, this is legit my karma for not doing the video on time like I said I was. I would never do this again. <laughs> the next time I schedule to do a video, I'm going to do it on time because I'm definitely getting that back times 10 right now. Times 10. <laughs> I just really deleted that footage. Because when I went to go delete it, I thought I was deleting old footage because it looked like the same image and then by the time I got down to the last image, there was nothing left on the memory card. So, I used the Ordinary from my moisturizer and I used the Fenty Hydrating Foundation for my foundation in the shade 100. Who's calling me? And for my concealer, I used the ColourPop um, no filter concealer. I used two shades. I used the zero, zero and the zero two or zero five. I don't know which one. It'll be in the description though. Um, I used the one closest to my skin on the bottom, and I'm about to use the white one to uh, brighten. Oh heck, too much under my eye. But lately, I've been honestly. Just trying to live for me, you know, and I mean that in the most humblest way. But for real, I'm not thinking about nobody's opinion, what you think, what you gotta say, how you view me, what you think you know about me. It don't matter. We're using the Airspun setup powder, and I think I'll be using that. Man, like if you ever did with your eyes watering, oh, let me take that on my damp beauty blender and just setting it you know when i call myself the queen like you know i want all females to call themselves the queen i'm not the only queen you feel me like we all queens like if you don't feel like you're a queen like your majesty baby huh, we need to talk oh let me do my bronze uh and if you still watching this video have a subscribe baby what what's tea You an underdog, you never think like you would get like you like you know you wanna get far, but it's like once you actually reach in a milestone, you like, ooh, ooh, I'm a little dangerous. I'm wiping this off my face. Wiping that extra powder. Now this eye is kind of boring, like it's cute, but it's boring. I need a look. Like it's really soft and like it's really nice, but I need a little side side. I need like inner corner, I need like bottom eyeshadow, all of that. It's a really nice blush. Like it's kind of pink and orange. Like it, it, it 
gives you nice a nice blush, but it kind of like bronzes you at the same time. I like it. I'm about to do my inner corners and my bottom shadow. All right, so I'm gonna wipe this powder off. Um, my camera had died, so I went ahead and I just did my bottom eyeshadow. I just put the yellow in that purple shade. It's like a dark purple shade, y'all. Um, on the bottom, and I just lined my waterline with some white. I used this Rihanna um, Diamond Balm. I used it in the inner corner. <laughs> this Diamond Balm is like, ugh, it's so cute. It's so pretty. I put it right so I'm about to spray my face. So I'm about to use this Revlon Pro HD Highlighter Kit. And I'm going to use the shade Champagne Kiss. Ooh. Highlight, baby. I got this as a gift for Christmas. And it's literally the best thing. Because I was going to have the Red on Highlight soon and I got this and I was like yo <laughs> I was really happy and shout out to my girl <sighs> so I'm about to take this brown lipstick here we go put this all the down I really just like this brown look I really don't even want to like put no nude to it or no gloss like I just really like this brown lip the way it is so despite my camera dying and footage getting lost we came out looking pretty big okay so I'm gonna get a teething uh teething child that's how you know we got to be babies around here um, I'm getting a um, teasing comb and my flatter and I'll be right back. I'm going to give y'all some extra footage since uh, I accidentally deleted some of it. I'm really still upset about that. Alright, so I got both my flatter and my one color going. I'm going to start with the one color. Then we're going to press that down make sure it's all nice and melted. Cause when I buy a wig, I need to get all as many wears and as many pictures as I can out of this wig. Um, 